It's raining mice in Australia, literally, and I'm not making this up or reading it out from a Murakami. Millions of mice have infested Australia and they're everywhere. Houses, garages, water tanks, under the beds. Mice are also crawling into beds and biting people. Those living in Australia and Australian cities are patching up holes in their homes and sealing the doors. In the rural areas, farmers are losing their harvest. The government has declared a war on the tailed army and announced a package worth $50 million. Our next report brings you the battle plan. Imagine this. You open a cupboard and out jump some mice. You go to your kitchen and there are mice everywhere. Sounds like a horror movie or a nightmare? Welcome to Australia. Here, it's a reality. There is mouse plague down under, and it looks something like this. Disgusted already? Watch this. It's raining mice, quite literally. They are inside houses, on the walls, on the roofs, inside containers. They are everywhere, dead and alive. How do you sleep in a situation like this? You don't, says Australian farmer Cody Brady. Yeah, I don't sleep um, because I'm paranoid. You know, you can hear them in your walls and your roof. And um, so, yeah, just your social and emotional well-being is shot and you're absolutely buggered. What triggered this mice apocalypse? To answer that, we must rewind to 2020, a year most of us would rather forget. But for Australian farmers, it was a good year, a year of rain. It rained more than the two previous years combined. The ground became fertile and there was a bumper harvest. But no one saw the mice coming. The rain brought them by creating an ideal condition for the little rodents. Once they had a sizable army, the mice went straight for the harvest. The wheat, the barley, they infested it all. They also attacked hotels, food marts and bakeries, childcare centers and made no exception for old age homes. As early as March, photos like these made their way to the headlines. A local farmer said, at night, the ground is moving with thousands and thousands of mice just running around. That was just a warm-up for a cross-country race. Two months on, the mice army has breached borders. It has infested an area stretching over a thousand kilometers. From Adelaide to Brisbane, via Melbourne and Sydney. The mice are chewing crops, electrical wires, machines, even biting patients in hospitals. And then there is the smell. The smell is rotten. Like, you know, the, the live smell of a mice is, you know, terrible. But, um, yeah, the dead smells, you know, 10 times worse. So what is Australia doing about the tailed army? It has declared a war. Houses have been fortified. There are strategies in place and traps are being laid. Australian authorities have announced a mouse plague package worth $50 million. The money will be used to bait and poison the mice army. People living in cities have been told to use steel wool to patch up holes in their homes. Also seal their doors. So my house is absolutely sealed like a submarine. Like, you know, I've got rubber around my doorways and underneath. Um, I've got about 15 bait stations and I spend at least an hour every morning and every night picking up dead mice like do. But how many of these creatures do you kill? If one pair of mice manages to get away, by the end of the season you will have 250 others. Australia knows this, it is no stranger to plagues. Mice have terrorized the country through the 80s, 90s and as recently as 2011. But some farmers say this is the worst they have seen. Pledging our support for Australia. Bureau Report. We on. World is one. We on is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.